I'm Scott Wilcox. I'm the Deputy Director for Collections here at the Yale Center for British Art, but uh, that's a fairly recent um, position change. Um, for over 30 years, I've been a curator in the Department of Prints and Drawings here. The Yale Center for British Art has one of the great collections of, um, of, of British art anywhere in the world. I mean, certainly the greatest outside Britain. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think there's any part of the job that's, that's more gratifying than when you've spent years organizing an exhibition and the, um, and the works finally arrive at the center and you, you bring them together on the floor f and see them for the first time and you, you arrange them and, 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 and place them in, in dialogue along the, or around the walls. Um, that's a really wonderful thing. Uh, while we're closed, people should definitely stay in touch um, by visiting our website and by browsing our on online catalog. Um, but I would also uh, remind people that, our, uh, that many of our great treasures are going to be incorporated into an exhibition um, across the street at the, at the Yale University Art Gallery, uh, which will run from March 6th to July 26th. Um, and it's entitled The Critique of Reason, um, uh, Romantic Art, 1760, I believe, to 1860, um, as well as, 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 as other treasures from our collection uh, being incorporated within the European displays at, at, at the art gallery. I would agree with, our, with the founder um, of the institution and of, of, of the collections here at Yale. Um, that um, British art is, is greatly underappreciated and is of, to use his own words, a, a, a particular order of excellence.